at the 1948 Olympic Games in London, a fighter emerged who would destroy the hopes of every opponent who stepped into the ring with him. He was known in his home country as the Horse de Carpathi, the Bear of the Carpathians. Having knocked out all three opponents on the way to the middleweight final, Hungary's Laszlo Papp in the dark vest faced home boxer Johnny Wright. Wright did well to keep the ferocious Papp at bay, but the Hungarian won the gold medal in a close decision. Four years later in Helsinki, Papp had dropped down a division to compete in the new light middleweight class. Well, it was a very exciting and interesting Olympic Games. The first Olympics I fought in five bouts, all of which were against Europeans. In Helsinki, on the other hand, I had a really tough and difficult Olympics because there were Americans, Canadians, Argentinians, and only one European, the Bulgarian. In the final, Pap in the white trunks faced the tough South African, Tianis from Skulkvik. It was a bruising encounter. After two rounds, the fight was evenly balanced. Whoever won the last round would take the gold medal. A jolting right hook sent the South African to the canvas. Papp launched a blistering attack to try and finish the fight. The knockout never came, but the result was not in doubt. Laszlo Papp had become the first man since Harry Malin in 1924 to win consecutive titles. On his return home to Budapest, he was greeted as the star of the Hungarian team. I remember walking through the streets. I was recognized everywhere that I went. I felt that the people at home really liked me. I always tried to be a good boy, saying hello to everyone as politely as possible. Because of that, I felt completely at ease in my own country. Papp had wanted to turn professional, but was denied permission by the communist authorities. He set his sights on a third gold medal at the Melbourne Olympics in 1956. In the preliminary bouts, the 30-year-old destroyed everybody in his path. Papp was only stopped once in his career, and that defeat came at the hands of Poland's Zbigniew Biaczkowski. In the semi-final in Melbourne, Papp had the opportunity to exact revenge. In the final, Pap faced the Puerto Rican-born American Jose Torres, a classy opponent. It was an emotional night for the Hungarian. He had just learned of the Soviet invasion of his country. Pap fought brilliantly. In the second round, a crushing left hook sent Torres staggering to the ropes. Pap won the unanimous points decision, becoming the first boxer to win three gold medals. While Torres went on to win the World Light Heavyweight title, Papp's only experience of the professional ring came when he won the European middleweight crown. The Hungarian authorities refused to let him fight for the world title.
It's all very well and good being honored and loved by the people. But you have to try and imagine what it's like when I go into a supermarket hoping to buy a piece of sausage and I have no money to pay for it. What happens then? Money makes the world go round. And when I had a chance to earn some money and had a great opportunity, a number of people made sure that I couldn't achieve my ambition. After his retirement in 1965, Pap became an occasional TV celebrity and trained fighters at the Hanford Club in Budapest. In 1982, he became the first Hungarian to receive the Silver Olympic Order, a fitting tribute to the game's first great hero of the ring. <laughs> 